in uh, your exhibit and uh, tell the jury what these two images are, please. Yes, sir. This is the unknown impression on Miss Maggie Murdoch's left calf. And this is the photograph of the known front driver's side tire of that side by side. All right. And when you were starting to compare these two, did you have to make any account for the relationship of Maggie's thigh and this ATV tire? I did. Now explain that to the jury, please. Just like if you're driving in your car and an ambulance comes up behind you and you look in the rear view mirror, you can read ambulance. But if you look at the front of that ambulance, it's written backwards because you're looking through a mirror. Well, with a shoe, a tire, or Miss Maggie Murdoch's leg, you can't see through her leg. You can't see through the tire. So you have to flip one of them or the other. So flipping the tire, in my opinion, because it has some characteristics on it that I wanted the reader to be able to look at, I chose to flip the impression on her leg to do the comparison. Because unless you do footwear and tire tread examinations, you're not going to be able to look at something in reverse and find those points. So this is the, uh, the original orientation, is that correct? It is, yes sir. And then flipping over to uh, your next slide, that's uh, where you've reversed the image, is that correct? Same photograph. I just pulled it over. In the old days with 35 millimeter film, and I'm from the old days, we just flipped the negative. That's all you had to do. It's a little bit more complicated in the digital world, but not that hard to do, but this is a direct uh, representation, it's just in reverse. All right. Continuing on as we go through uh, your analysis, what does this reflect? This is just a side-by-side -side so you can understand the orientation here, 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 and here. Those are the two treads that we're, we're talking about now. All right. And by the way, those on the tire are the only treads at that level on her calf that I believe needed to be examined. All right, and again, these are just additional images uh, illustrating uh, the what you were focusing on in your analysis? Yes, sir. Okay. And then this one right here? Yes, sir. That's a side-by-side -side view once again with all the background cut out of it. All right, and then the final one, is this, uh, uh, explain this to the jury and how this supports your opinion. This is my actual comparison, and we use a process called ACE-V, where you analyze, compare, evaluate, and verify. It's a peer-reviewed process. I never go by just my results. I always have another competent examiner with like experience and like skills, look at my work. Because if you're gonna make a mistake, that's where the mistake's found. You don't wanna put a conclusion out for something important and you miss that. And that is a very important process in the examination world that you use peer reviewed process. You have someone else look at it. And so what I do, so that person and the jury in the court, your honor, so that person can look at these details. I've got a markup here showing some unique random characteristics that I've used, but I also put the actual impression there so you can make your own decision. I didn't want to uh, look like I was being deceptive and put enhancements in there and point things. You can look at it and make your own conclusion, but I wanted to uh, put it right next to mine so you know I'm, I'm being straight here or you can make your own opinion. All right, very quickly, is it your expert opinion that this mark on the back of Maggie's leg is a tire impression uh, and not anything else. That is a tire trade impression. That is my opinion. All right. Now, I see you have a number of arrows here that have different colors, and so I'd like to move through those and you explain what you're pointing to with those arrows in this image, okay? Absolutely. Let's start with the uh, the baby blue one and tell, tell the jury what, what that indicates to you. Now, you're going to have to tell me because I can't tell shade from up here. Right. Okay, the top one. Yep. Yes, sir. All right, here you've got your unknown impression. Let me see down there. Here you've got your unknown impression. And what I pointed here is at the start of that impression, and it's in mud, by the way. It's in mud, and so it's really, really fragile, but it's still here. You got an unknown impression, and here's approximately where it starts in the unknown, and here is where it starts in the known. And you can look at both, the marked up one 
and the actual impression itself. All right, and it's here. All right, and then moving on to the to this this one right here, kind of uh, we got a purple one, and then uh, kind of that. Uh, Yes, sir. I see. Whatever it. that one is, but explain yes, to the jury what you're seeing there and how that supports your conclusion. Right here is the other side of that tread, and this tread is this tread is this tread. They're, those two are the same, and right here you can see it come up, and it actually makes a complete corner there. Comes up and it curves out just a little bit there. All right, and it, is that consistent with the, with the sort of unique shape of that top tire? Yes, sir, it is. Uh, right here, and then it comes up. Now, it's not, it's exaggerated a little bit in the drawing, but that's the best I could do with a, with a stylus trying to get it there. Right. And are those very distinct patterns that you see in the mud that match up with that particular tire? Yes, sir. Not so much, uh, not so much the corner there. But these in here are, you can see a unique random characteristic here. And all that is is a void pattern in the mud. You can also see it here. I mean, almost perfect. You can see one here where the yellow area is. You can see it here. It's right there. All right, you're kind of doing a little mountain or a little hump. And expand on that with the jury. Why is that particular, uh, why is that significant to you? Because that's not in the... That, that's not in the process of making the tire. That's because whoever drove that side by side last hit some dirt or some mud, and that is a pattern that's left in mud on the tire. And in my opinion, it transferred to Miss Maggie Murdoch's calf. All right, and show the jury where you're talking about the little hump on the yes, image right here, if you could show it. In it's the marked with a yellow arrow, mm -hmm. and here it is, right here. And I've marked it there, but you can look at the one that's not marked, and you can also see it here. All right, talking about uh, this bottom uh, impression, we've got a white arrow to that line right there. Explain that to the jury and what's significant in your analysis about that. I mark that because unless you examine, you might, unless you got really, really good eyesight, you might not even pick up on that. But here you've only got a partial line. The whole line didn't show through in the transfer of the mud or dirt or debris. And I, I kept myself honest. I only highlighted the length of that, but you can also see it here and here you can see that that side of that tread that tire tread All right. and uh, moving on now to uh, to the uh, this green one right here and kind of green uh, to the baby blue to that blue just kind of going around there if you can explain that to the jury and its significance if any to your analysis. It's just a continuation and there's a little break in there but there's still the same angle same lines and they match up and that's just because the the dirt didn't transfer completely but you got plenty of skeletonized line here to show the outline of that tread here here and here and that's here here and here in your opinion that's a tire impression is that, that is a tire impression that's my opinion and in, in your opinion based on these very significant uh, mirror images and accidentals and that sort of thing is that most likely that specific tire tread that's on the back of it is channel? most likely that tire if it's not that tire it's a similar tire with the same tread design and that particular tire was in close proximity to where Maggie was found correct? in close proximity um, looking at how you had Maggie uh, in that first shot, I think you had me kind of angled a little bit like that. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And if she was angled that way near that front tire, would she be facing towards the feed room? Yes, sir. All right. And are those two shots that, that were suffered in the abdomen and the thigh, are those uh, consistent with the shooter coming from the direction of the feed room? Basically? Certainly could be. Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead and have a seat for me, if you would. Sure, I'll have you back up. All right. 